Hey, hey, this is Sapphire Chow, and welcome back to another episode of this Chow Garden Let's Play. Now, previous episode, we had our two brand new Chow with us, and I have off screened and raised some of their stats enough so they could swim. So, of course, it looks like here we've got two Dark Chow. Spoiler alert, we've got two Dark Chow, we're gonna raise it to two Dark Chow, no, 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 just, just kidding. We're gonna have one hero, one Dark. This one will be our Dark Chow. But now, the squiggly happy face Chow here will have a name that uh, will strike f uh, fear in the hearts of many. A very, very, very evil name indeed. Very fitting for a Chow like this. So, what is this Chow's name? Oh yeah, we have to go through this one. Yeah, yeah, the Chow's lucky name is something the powers to be! No, not that. <laughs> no, I don't like that name. You have terrible names. I'm naming it myself. Yes. This Chow shall be named... Drumroll... Wait. Hang on. There we go. Sorry. This Chow shall be named... Jerry. Jerry the Chow. This is submitted by Nopna. And I just thought it was just a really amusing name to have. Just, just let's have, let's have Jerry. Jerry, and he will be a Dark Run Chow, because I think the most requested Dark type was Dark Run. And maybe down the track we might make this into a Shadow Chow. So that is Jerry. And of course for our next Chow, we have a name for that one as well of course. Let's just see where they went. Where are they? Where are they? Where'd they go? There they are. Alright, so this Chow here will be a hero Chow. It will look like a hero Chow once I start grinding more stats to get make it to the type that I intend it to be. But for this Chow, we will give it the name... Drumroll please, while we get a really awesome another name that we're not going to end up using. No, we're not using this one. Star? No, we're not calling it that. We've got a better name for that, for this Chow. Oh, oops, I didn't want to do that. Whoopsie doops. Nope. No, we're not calling it that. I don't like that name. You have terrible suggestions for names, but we're naming it ourselves. So this Chow will be named... We have Potato. This was suggested by Epow as a really random name, and I just absolutely loved it. Do you know why? Because Potato will become a hero fly type. And if you know anything about potatoes, when you leave potatoes out for long enough, they sort of get those little scraggly, stringy sprout things coming out, and I'm just like, that totally fits for a hero fly type. So, um, and also the fact that we had this Chow with three E ranks, which is kind of hilarious. So this Chow is going to be our ultimate flying potato Chow. Yes. And in the meantime, have food. And you too. I'm going to, I'm going to feed you as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll do something about... Because that, that's right now it looks like they're going to turn into uh, <laughs> swim uh, dark types. Uh, we will fix that. We'll balance out their stats and all that and... Maybe you a quick demonstration of how stat influence works in the making. And how dare you throw that out. You must finish that last little bit. Come on. Hey, hey. Alright. Yeah, there we go. We appreciate if you would uh, eat all that. Need good table manners. Come on. Come on, Jerry's Jerry's finishing before you. Come on, potato. You gotta gotta follow Jerry's uh, Jerry's example. Come on. I know you can do it. Believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the uh, fruits. Do it. Do it. Good boy. Good potato. I approve of this potato. But also, before we go and uh, raise their stats further, there's a couple other chow I want to go and obtain because a few of you did make suggestions on what sort of color monotones we should get. So let's just go over and do some shopping. Um, now the fan favourite was Purple Chow, apparently. That was the most requested of the lot. So we're going to grab a non-shiny purple. And in terms of shiny Chow, um, a couple of you did suggest a shiny yellow. 
um, to make into a supersonic chow. So let's do that as well. So we have two brand new chow for us. Um, I believe I have some names in mind because some of you did have some really creative, uh, really creative names that were suggested. So thanks for everyone who did suggest something. But now let's just see what we got here. Let's see what sort of funky uh, faces we have for these chow. I really look forward to it. All right, so the purple soon to hatch. And here they are. There goes our shiny. Whoa! Oh, you got a relatively normal looking face there. That's we got fine. And yourself? Oh, what's this? Do we have ourselves a screaming chow? Oh my god, we have a screaming chow! Yes! <laughs> yes, I love this face! Oh my god! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh! No! Oh, oh, no! Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm being... I'm, I'm, I'm being really silly. But, um, that, that... I was waiting for the day that I would get the ultimate screaming chow face. That is... that is the epitome of... Screaming chow face. Um, but someone by the name of Yoshifan984 actually did suggest a rather interesting name, which I thought would be really fitting for a, a supersonic chow. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna name it. Not we're not gonna name it with whatever you're gonna name it. We're not gonna name it Papoose. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, naming it ourselves. We're gonna name this chow. We're gonna name this channel Final. Um, in relation to Final Hazard, where you get to play as uh, Super Sonic and Super Shadow. Is it Super Shadow or Hyper Shadow? I don't know. But I think Final is a very nice name to give a Super Sonic Chow, which will do that. And also, let's check its stats. Let's see what it's capable of. <laughs> well, slightly better than Potato, but uh, pretty mediocre across the board. Room for improvement, I guess we could say. Um, yeah, so, um, we'll... I'll raise its stats a little bit later. I reckon we'll just prioritise grinding for uh, Potato and Jerry. And uh, while we're at it, we'll just get them give a name to this Chow. Because uh, another... a few of you did really like Purple um, Chow, and um, I, I will say this. Purple Two-Tones are probably up there as one of my favourite uh, two-tone combinations. And we will use um, this purple chow and final, even maybe to test out some color mixing in the mod, um, the color mixing mod. So that'll be really interesting. Um, no, we're not going to use your lucky name, Quincy. No, no to Quincy. And I'll name it myself. Um, so Delta Frazzle um, was quite the fan of um, purple chow, and he actually suggested a few nice purple related names. So. I will be choosing Nebula. I think Nebula is a really nice name and a very fitting one for a purple chow. So I'm going with that and thank you very much for that really awesome suggestion. Now let's see what the health center has to say. Okay, so slightly better. I reckon maybe give it a, maybe make into a power type? But in all honesty, I think... Oh, he's a lonely chow. I think this chow's type, I'll leave that up to you guys. So put another suggestion in the comments about what you think Nebula should be. Because I think anything goes for this chow. But it's currently Nebula's our best looking chow in terms of stats. And it's not really saying that much, but um, don't worry. Eventually we'll have a really decent graded chow down the track, I hope. We'll make it super buff. We'll make it do races and do karate and all that awesome things. And oh, we gotta save the screaming chow. Save the screaming chow, final! Okay. Now that we've done that, I reckon we'll start collecting some animals. Now, um, I think the first thing I'll do is go to Wild Canyon. I think that's the best one for flying animals. Um, and we'll, we'll just spam a bunch on potato. And I'm not too worried about having all that extra swim, swim influence because um, it'll easily get cancelled out once we give them a bunch of those uh, the flying animals. So 
we should be all fine and dandy in that front. Oh god. Oh well, um, that was useful. Yeah, let's grab that too. I am not actually- this is not practiced by the way, this is just pure RNG that just happens to- Oh, well there's another one right here! I'm gonna beat this in record time! Oh, that's where it is. Well, I've gotta get one more animal to collect here. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. There we go! That's probably my best time by the way. On total accident, mind you. Woohoo! Yeah, this is perfect. All right, back to extended chow world. So one thing I will do is also removing that uh, that stat influence of swim. So yep. So for you, I'm gonna do something for you there. Ah, oh, it's drowning chow. All right, I'll save you. I've got to save Final and Nebula. I will have to eventually raise those stats so they can swim. All right, Jerry, 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 Jerry. Um, I'm just going to give you a few of these flies just to remove that swim influence. For those who don't really know what I'm uh, doing is um, swim and fly are on two different sort of influence sliders, and essentially, if I just give some extra. Is there? I think maybe you could, could, uh, I explained it better in another video that I did earlier, so don't, don't worry about that. And I'm really sucking at this glitch. I kinda need to save it for another chow, but okay. No, Alright, let's give it one more time. I don't think Knuckles is very good at this reuse glitch. Okay. So we look at him, he's a little bit less swim-like. So if we max out his uh, run stats, I think it should be okay for him to become a run type. All right, now you there, potato. We've got some business. We've got lots of business for you. No there. Yeah. So the main purpose for this let's play is I want to kind of show more rather than tell. Um, I've I've seen previous chow let's plays where everyone tries to explain every little last detail. And I'm gonna kind of assume that most of you here have like a basic understanding of how things work around here. Of course, if you're unsure about anything, you're more than welcome to just ask a question and I'm happy to answer it in the comments or even maybe show it in a video. So if it's something more specific that's best shown in a video than in a, in a comment section, then you know I'm more than happy to do that. This again, this is gonna be, you know, I know it's technically a project I'm working on, but it's gonna be like what you guys are gonna put in is what you're gonna get out of it. So it's gonna be more your guys' project and what I should do and I should show off and yeah. So you're gonna kind of guide me about what will end up uh, end up happening in this, in this playthrough. Now, potato, can I get you to stay put? Sit, sit still there. And uh, Nebula's gone for another swim. It's good to know. Hello, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Alright, let's see if we can get a good roll here. <laughs> Just when I say that. So I reckon I'm going to keep spamming this until he, the potato is pretty much uh, fully maxed out as a hero align alignment. Not too fussed with points at this point in time. Um, but depending on how we're going, we might also do... Uh, you might notice, yeah, it's a bit more looking more slightly closer to a knight's chair here. Um, I actually might, out of out of curiosity, uh, maybe enter a couple of uh, beginner race tournaments. So maybe we'll see how that goes. Uh, now that we've got a, got a, got some decent points behind us, I think having around 300 in each stat is uh, you're pretty much set for the for the entirety of um, the beginner races. It's it's they're, they're like super easy. I guess something on the topic of races. Um, do you guys want me to just sort of gradually complete the Chow races, or do you want me to just make a singular buff Chow and just go all out? 
I know it's gonna be a really kind of, uh, it's like, I don't know if it wouldn't be boring necessarily, but it, it's not as interesting when you have to go through a bunch of the same, um, the same races over and over again, like all the easier levels and then unlocking the harder ones and all that. Um, we will be doing the new challenge race, uh, mod from Chow World Extended, which I have not seen anything of that from, so I'm kind of going to that blind, so probably by the time we do that we'll have an all less Chow, or maybe all full 99 level Chow. Um, yes. Now we'll see. So you're looking a lot more like the neutral, uh, neutral fly type. How are you going back there, Nebula? You trying to leave the garden? Oh, hello, Jerry. Yeah, so as I was saying about races, do you want me just to have one really strong chow, just power through everything, or do you just want to make it sort of staggered, so to make it look like the races are a little bit closer, sort of giving the uh, the computer chow a bit of a fighting chance? I don't know, like, maybe mix it up a bit. Because I know it, it feels really grindy when you have just one really good chow at racing, and then you have to go through all those those lower levels um, and doing those same races over and over and over again. It, like, takes a good an hour or two hours just to go through all of those. So maybe I'll just gradually complete the races as we go. Um, I just think that'd be better that way, but um, let me know what you think about that. So still looking pretty neutral right now. Oh wait, oh sorry, I interrupted I interrupted your step dance. I'm very sorry about that potato. I should not interrupt the step dance. Oh well. Nope, you're not going to sleep. Sorry, I'm gonna have to wake you up there. We're not done with you. We're not done with you just yet. You're nearly at full maxed uh, alignment of hero alignment. And I also might give you some dragons as well for the sake of. Uh, hopefully, you'll eventually start willing to walk. Hey. No, no, no sleeping. You are not gonna sleep just yet. Is it just me, or does it look like the chair is a little bit transparent? I don't know if this is like that's part of the mod or something. But it's kind of weird. Oh, I nearly gave that to Nebula. Sorry, Nebula. We're not going to do anything fancy with you until we know exactly what type we're making you. Okay. I think 35 levels later, I think you're pretty set. Ah, oh, whoops. Oh well. That should be fine. You might breathe fire later down the track. Alright, you can now sleep. I now permit you to sleep. Oh yeah, I still got this one up here. Um, who do we give this to? I love that face. That's amazing. I really hope that we eventually got a, got a chow face like that in our, um, in our chow let's play. But luckily we managed to get it. I'm so happy with that. Very, very happy with that. All right, now with potato done, and uh, by the way, lo lots of unused um, animations as well are being uh, implemented in the Chow mods. So uh, yeah, you'll see plenty of that down the track too. All right then, let's exit. I reckon Radical Highway might be a good place to look for speed Chow, it's for speed related animals I should say. Speed related animals for our speed related Chow. Okay, that looks pretty good. Stage select. Um, I did grab some extra seals 
Uh, mainly for the purpose, so the other, so um, we can get Nebula and Final to hopefully swim, so they're not constantly drowning all the time. Okay. Okay, let's get our screaming chow. You might also notice that any uh, animal uh, parts have been removed. So, so every time I exit the garden, all the animal parts get cleaned. It's just another nice mod. That's pretty useful instead of you having to always go and um, get some skeleton dogs from Pumpkin Hill all the time. Oh my god, 99. <laughs> it's still not good enough. We have to go further. Alright. There we go. Now you're a little swimmer. And I'll leave you to that. Um, where is our purple chow? There we go. What's up, Nebula? You have a rather ordinary face, given that we have a bunch of chow that have really weird faces. Oh well. 96! No, not good enough. We have to go further. Uh, I like how it makes all the difference though. There we go. Now we need our 100 points. We now got 100 points. Thank you very much. Now you are free to swim. Swim free! Go forth and swim. I command you. Let him, let him go like a majestic creature that he is. Okay. Now, we're gonna do some raising of the stats for Jerry. Where's Jerry? Jer Jerry is asleep. Damn it. <laughs> and he's snoring too. Alright, well we have to wait until he uh, wakes up. Alright then, final. Go forth and swim like a majestic creature that you are. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go! Oh, now he's going on me. <laughs> Well, if Jeremy is fast asleep, we might as well just give these chow also some run animals while we're at it. If it just means enough for them to walk around, so I guess there's no harm done for that. Oh, I think uh, leopards are better. I think leopards are the best uh, animal for run. If you just want to raise run on its own, oh, you're you're awake. Hey there, potato. Looking very much like a hero chow right now. But yeah, leopards are the best for raising uh, just, just a singular one stat. I think every time it always raises four little squares or 40 points. Oh, there's something, something calculated like when it gets to 100 it, then it does a level up. But yeah, this is, this is the most efficient um, run animal. Okay, 51, I think that's pretty good. I'll leave it to it. Alright, final. Stop swimming like a majestic creature, and now I'm going to make you go fast. Well, given that we have to make you a run type anyway, I might as well just uh, spam a few extra of these anyway. Okay, I think that might be good enough for now. And then I'll give some extra run as a hero character to help balance that all out. Okay. Now, ah, now you're awake. That's very good to know. Alright then, Jerry. Let's, uh, where's a good place to, uh, put you so we don't get interrupted by all this chow? Fortunately, the neutral garden, or the chow, this chow garden, isn't very good for, um, for spamming the reuse glitch because it, it's, it's smaller and the, and the chow can just literally wander anywhere, and so therefore they can easily interrupt you. Luckily this chow here aren't on too super fast, but when you have a... Really? <laughs> yeah, when, when you... I, I'm pretty sure many of you know the, the feeling when you have a bunch of, uh, like, level 99 stat run chow and they're just running around all over the place and it's just, it gets kind of a little bit annoying when you want to try and raise that one chow that's not quite fully... Not quite fully uh, buff like all the others. So um, I reckon we'll just raise Jerry's stats up to, uh, I reckon level 10 should do it. And then maybe we might uh, 
try their hand at a couple of races. Okay, there we go, level 10. Probably enough to maybe clear like the first level of um, the races. Yeah, we'll just give you a few of the extra ones here. Yeah, just have, have all the surplus leftovers. Yeah, look at Jerry. He's really changed now. Looks a lot more like a uh, run, dark run type. Which is quite nice. I'm sure he's quite happy about that. Um, do we have any other spare animals lying about? I think, yeah, maybe just a seal. I'm gonna give it to you. Merry Christmas. Alright. Alright then, let's have a go at the Chow Stadium. I'm pretty doubtful that our Chow is no anywhere near strong enough. Uh, <laughs> or maybe Potato, but uh, Fly can only get you so far. Um, so let's just get Jerry and uh, put him in Mushroom Forest. Um, might be a good time to also explain another mod that I've got enabled. And that kind of makes uh, sort of like a random alignment. So for um, your, the Chow Bot, or the Chow Bot's essentially like the random generated um, like enemies or what's a good word for it? Contestants. Like the, the chow that you see here that you're, that you're versing against. Um, yeah, a bit more randomized as well in type and um, in align and in alignment. So yeah, just another extra detail. Doesn't really add too much, but it's just another nice thing to include into the chow word extended mod. Um, Jerry looks like he's killing it at the moment, but again, then again, it is uh, only the first level, so. Well, he, he passed the first test, which is good to know. Congratulations! Exclamation mark. Yeah, and I love that last bit there, because it's randomizing all the alignments. It just goes full-on berserk at the end there. Um, let's see how Jerry goes for the second level. I don't know, because I, I don't normally use Chow like this week in here. Oh, look at that. Looks like some Jerry clones. Like They're catching on to the edginess. But I'll be quite interested to see how this pans out. Ready? Go, Jerry! No, you're second place. We have to go first. We must maintain that lead, Jerry. You have a reputation to keep, Jerry. You have a title to maintain and defend. You're the, currently the undefeated champion of Mushroom... Is it Mushroom Forest? Oh, no! <laughs> he's, he's tripped. He choked. <laughs> no, Jerry! <laughs> oh, wow. It's literally lagging. Oh, no. No! Oh no, he's tripped over again! <laughs> no. Jerry, why? Why, Jerry? We had so much hope! You had so much promise! And he's ruined it! <laughs> oh no, we screwed that up. That, that's, that's... no. <laughs> no, Jerry. Jerry, you, 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 you done goofed. No, you're gonna have a timeout. Okay, Potato. Potato, I reckon... I reckon maybe Stump Valley could be your jam. I think Stump Valley could be could be your time to shine. Uh, yeah, Potato's got such a really weird, uh, weird uh, face. All right, he's off. He's crawling, crawling off to a good start. Give him a bit of encouragement there. Come on, fly the whole way. Oh, is he gonna fly the whole way? Nah. Good, that's good. Didn't hit the water. He's way ahead of the pack. He got this. He got this in the bag. And he's not gonna trip. I assure it, he's not gonna trip. 
Go, potato! Everyone's favorite flying potato! Absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Congratulations! You won your very first race. Okay, I'm feeling quite hopeful now. I reckon we should put Potato back in the ring and try out Stump Valley. Wait. That doesn't look like a P. It looks like Stummo Valley. Am I reading that right? Or is that just a graphical glitch? I have no idea. I know it's meant to be Stump Valley, so that's what we're doing. All right, we got we, we got more uh, we got more potato clones, but of course, potato is the original potato, the best potato of all time. Crawl, damn it! Oh, we only got one chow uh, that can walk. Ah, uh, potato's got this. I'm sure potato has this. Look at that. Potato for the win. Potato's got this. I, 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 you know what? I'm confident that Potato will even win the third level. Look at that. Even cutting the corner like that. That is, that is that is pro strats right there. Go Potato. Potato the OG Potato of flyingness. And even beat his time. That's pretty... That's, that's really, uh... Really impressive there. Okay, you know what? Potato? You're gonna go and graduate to the third level. I don't know if I've shown you this, but yeah, look at all that. Look at that grooviness. Oh, look at that flickering. It's like a man, mad disco or something. Um, yeah, like randomizing that alignment. It's It just looks so cool. <laughs> Alright. So we got, uh, oh, I thought it was nearly 50-50 Hero and Dark, but, um, so we got a bunch of, <laughs> yeah, so half of them are Dark and the rest are whatever. Go forth, Potato! You've got this in the bag. I have faith that you can do this, Potato. You've got better fly than anyone else. Oh, look, you're absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Remember, Potato, don't trip. Don't trip like... Don't choke like Jerry did. Oh, look at that. And also hug in the corner. Mad strats. 10 out of 10. And also beat his own time yet again. He's just absolutely smashing those records. Potato is like now our official best race chow at the moment. <laughs> Yay, and he can water stuff. That's going to be quite useful. All right. <laughs> and this is another funny thing is, um, the fruits are not supposed to look like that, by the way. Um, but it's just a weird graphical glitch I tend to find every time I go into um, the Chow Stadium, or specifically the Chow Race, I find. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird. But don't worry, the, they all function the same. It's just a graphical thing. Um, but yeah, I've had some other weird ones that look more greenish, like leaves or something. Yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, what the hell is this? Is this like a... Do they, do all, all the fruits go off or something? Um, there is a mod where you can actually have spoiled fruit. And I think if the chow eat it, they get sick or something. Um, but I have not enabled that mod because I don't want to make it any more harder for myself. <laughs> um, but yeah. We want, we want to be nice and easy. We don't want to torture these chow with spoiled fruits and, you know, various other things. I didn't mean to pet you. Oh. You're still here, chow. It's all good. Eat. There we go. Yes, feeding fruits do indeed make it quicker for them to evolve. But I'm sure most of you might have already you know, knew that. Go forth and eat the glitched fruit. I knew. 
Finish your good fruit. Come on, we, we, we promote good table manners. Okay. Final. Let's give you some foods. Good boy. Even though technically you're a bad boy. Good boy, Jerry. Alright. Um, okay, so I have a few other couple of things to mention. So, in the link in the description below, um, there is a Chow Discord chat. So I highly recommend you check that out if you want to chat with other people who are also still raising Chow and doing all that fun stuff. A lot of them use Chow Word Extended, but some of them also, you know, play other um, Sonky games. Oh look, there's a step dance! Yeah, so I highly recommend just checking that out. Um, I'm on there, so if you want to say hello to me in Discord format, you're more than welcome to. Um, another one thing is on Twitter, on my Twitter account, I will be using the hashtag ChowLP um, for just this project in particular. So if you just want to follow the Chow Let's Play, that's the hashtag to keep in mind. And finally, I have a poll. I have a poll for just research, research poll. Um, it is saying what is asking the what is the best uh, what is the best hat? What is the best hat in this game that Chow can wear? This is for this is for a purely scientific research purpose, and I highly recommend you vote for that. So also oh, that is also a link in the description. So please contribute to research and um, do that because I highly recommend it. Also, you're awake. I will give you food. You probably need food. But yes, I believe we will start finish things, finishing things up right now. So, thanks for watching. This has been Sapphire Chow, and I am over and out.